Hey everyone and welcome back to the HVAC system for electrical engineers. In this part we will talk about the different types of HVAC systems. So the first type which we are gonna discuss is called the direct expansion system or the DX system. So the direct expansion or direct or direct uh, or DX cooling uses the principle of thermodynamics to transfer heat from one area to another through the evaporation and the condensation of a refrigerant. Now you may ask me what is even a direct expansion system? It is exactly the one we discussed before. Okay, you can see that the remember the cycle which we talked about, how does an air conditioning work in the previous lesson? It is exactly the same. This is the direct expansion system in which we are cooling, in which we are cooling our uh, using our freon or cold uh, freon or our cold refrigerant directly to exchange with the uh, atmosphere or exchange with the room with the air inside our room. In another system, we are gonna do another thing is that we are gonna use, for example, a refrigerant or a freon in order to cool water and then using this water to cool rooms in a building this is a chiller system a different types of, of a different type of an hvac system this one is called a direct expansion system now air conditioners refrigerator and freezers using the dx cooling in order to remove thermal energy from inside to outside all of these use the same components that we discussed before inside an air conditioning system you remember this cycle exactly the same when you compress the um, gas or refrigerant and then can uh, cool it down using a condenser by using a fan to the in the outdoor unit and then bringing it in using the expansion valve which will expand it and cool it down and then using an evaporator to uh, evaporate our uh, refrigerant from the liquid form to gas form and exchange heat with our room and the cycle repeats. This is exactly the one which we discussed before. Now let's look at eight types. What are the DX systems that we can see? These are some of the types which you can see in your own building or in uh, different projects. So for example, we can have a window and ductless. Ductless, it means that we don't use any duct in this system. So in the window type, which you may have seen before, in the window we will have the indoor unit, which contains the evaporator, and the outdoor unit, which, can, which contains the condensator and the compressor, are attached to each other, one block inside the wall. We call it a window unit, like this. Remember, inside this can be found in old homes, um, for example, you can have the indoor unit and this is the outdoor unit. They are sticked to each other. This is what we call a window and it uses the same principle, which is the, um, the one which we discussed right now in the previous lesson, which is the DX system or uh, using the direct expansion uh, system or direct expansion uh, method. And this is another one you can find it here and the other one you can see here there is a plug for this uh, air conditioning system and outside you will find the uh, outdoor unit behind it um, stick behind it so this is what we call a window without any kind of duct another one which can be found in modern homes or uh, newer systems uh, other than the window type is a split systems so the split system is that we can see in our house, in my own house and in many other house. You can find here that we have um, the indoor unit and the outdoor unit. And why do we call it a split? Because you can see that it is not one block like window. In window we had the indoor and outdoor stick to each other, one block. However, in this type, the split system, the indoor and outdoor are split or they are separated from each other. Here is an example. You can see here an air conditioning here and the outdoor unit. And if you look carefully at this uh, drawing here, you will find that we have this weird box here. This weird box is our disconnecting switch. 
which we are gonna discuss later how to design it this disconnect switch is used to um, cut electricity from this uh, air conditioning system or the air conditioning system in order to do maintenance on it another type of the ductless without any kind of duct is called the floor mounting and the floor standing you can find this this one is found also in my own house in a reception you will find this one which is a floor mounted and there is also a floor standing different types of systems which you can see the cassette there is another one called the cassette what is exactly like the cassette it looks like this this one as you can see this is what we call a cassette that provides also a cold air to our system as you can see here again the cassette is also connected with the outdoor unit we have an outdoor unit and we have an indoor unit this one used to provide uh, air uh, cold air to our system and it's connecting connected to uh, our outdoor unit you can see that this outdoor unit can provide two different split uh, system these two split system and two cassette again it depends on the design of the mechanical engineer now there is another one called the ducted or central split so it is a split but it is central what i mean by central central because it doesn't call just one room it can call several rooms it may be even one complete floor in a building again it depends on the design of who of the mechanical engineer not my design i'm not a mechanical engineer the mechanical engineer is is responsible for designing and selecting what suitable system is used and what values and what kind of horsepower all of these are its own job it's not my job so the central split here you will find that for example we will have one big unit outside and you can see again the disconnect switch here as you can see here this one outdoor unit and it provides uh, provides cold air to the building using to the house or home or uh, floor using duct and you will see what i mean right now you will see that we have here what we call diffusers that provide cold air and there is others which take air so there are uh, diffusers that are in takes air uh, warm air and others which will provide cold air so let me show you what i exactly mean or how does this system works so you can see in this this is a house here and you can see we have many many diffusers here that provides cold air cold air to this house here now let's see so we have number one our door unit our door unit which contains the compressor that compresses this freon okay so it compresses it and at the same time you can see we have many vents here which cools it also down a little bit and then we will see that this um, hot freon or hot refrigerant will go through pipes or refrigerant line you call this refrigerant lines or pipes and it goes like this through an expansion valve so we have an expansion valve that will you can see that here it goes like this and you'll see here we have an expansion valve which will provide a cool liquid freon or refrigerant okay liquid cooled uh, refrigerant and then what we are gonna do is that you will find that we have another unit inside the house which was called the plower here this one what does it do you will find that it takes air from the building you can see that we have some diffusers here or vent here you can see this vents here it can be located any locations and you'll see all of these ducts you can see this one is called duct so what will happen is that we by using this plower here we take air from the rooms hot air from the rooms like this we take hot air goes all the way down here so this one this plower here this one takes all of the hot air from the system okay great and then what after taking all of the warm air from the here it will push it through 
the cold refrigerant. Remember that after getting through the expansion valve, we have here a cold refrigerant. And then when we pass this hot air through it, it will become a cold air and then we will pass it through a duct and then we provide cold air to our house. So you'll see that these ducts, which will have warm air, it will be absorbed using this plower here, push it down here, and then it will push this warm air through the cold refrigerant, and then we will have cold air that will go through these diffusers or this vent. That is how a central split works. Exactly the same principle in other systems. So you can see we have duct here that will take uh, hot air and another ducts which will provide cold air. There is another one called the package unit. So what does the package unit do? It contains everything together, everything inside it. And it is usually placed on the rooftop, like this one here. You can see it is placed on the rooftop of a house. And then it will start supplying cold air through, you can see, providing air, air and air, cold air through the system. And we will have also here, you can see we have a return air duct which will absorb hot warm air and again provided here to do that to the evaporator which will exchange here air which will exchange heat with it and then will provide cold air so as a package unit contains everything together in one block so these are the different types of the dx system uh, operates on the same principle you have a refrigerant that we uh, compresses it and then we expand it and then after expansion we exchange it directly with the air inside our system now in another system called the solar system we first use the refrigerant in order to cool down water and then we use this cold water uh, inside our building as we will see in the next lesson